Hello and welcome to all you dear Sagittarians out there. This is your monthly horoscope for a short horoscope for December of 2022. And the first thing I want to I want to say two things and then two a bit less significant things. But the first important thing for you is your ruler shifting back into Aries. And I'm excited about that because I love it. And uh, Jupiter was already in Aries. Uh, and then up until October, it went back to uh, Pisces. But now on the 21st of the month, Jupiter goes back into one of my favorite houses, which is the fifth house. And it's in Aries. So, so more fun for the Sagittarians. Isn't that a good thing? And I mean, having fun because you know, finding almost purpose in having fun and seeing that of one of your purposes to enjoy yourself and not to overdo it, of course, because that's also Jupiter in the fifth, but to enjoy yourself and just feeling very much um, aligned with your own heart. And that is because you can uh, get along better for instance, with your children, Jupiter in the fifth house, it could mean not only expansion if you want children, but it could also mean that uh, a child of yours is growing very fast and it has a good effect on you as well. It's becoming wiser. I surely look out for that. I mean, I have a Sagittarius rising and I see this coming. Yeah, I love it. Now, the fifth house is also your projects that you do. It's the things that you do as a hobby or to, to have fun. So with Jupiter there, it means more of that. So isn't that a good thing? More of pleasure, more of leisure and pleasure. And we, we all love that, right? We are human beings that need a bit of hope in our lives and some good things in our lives. And it's not, it's sometimes in the, in the little things. And, um, but having you, your ruler in the fifth house, it means that you want to have fun. You want to be bold. You want to see things big. And that's exactly who you are. That is because this, uh, Jupiter is in a fellow fire sign. So it's very enthusiastic. If, if life has been a little bit dull for you or difficult because of a challenge or challenges, this is a beautiful energy to look forward to and to tap into, of course. You need to tap into that as well. Now, Mercury is um, in Capricorn and it's for the whole month, it's going to slow down. And around the 30th of the month, so the very end of the month, it's going uh, retrograde in Capricorn. And that is your second house. So this is the money house, but this is also the house of your assets, but also your resources, but your confidence. It's your worth, your self-worth. And it's how you value you, the Sagittarian. And with the Mercury retrograde here, it means that there is a reassessing going on here. The reassessing is not for the faint at hearted, or how do you say that? Because it's with Venus, so it wants to do things in a very fair way, but it's also with Pluto there. Now, for some of you, for some of you who already are in a good established financial situation, this could mean, or, or fairly good, that you say, yeah, I'm having break even, that is surviving, that's not fairly good. But, you know, for these people who are not struggling anymore, you know, who, who are really having challenges with money, but who are like, yeah, there is a break even and I'm out of the survival mode, but, you know, I'm still not really thriving. There is an opportunity for thriving. And there is an up for the future, I mean, when Mercury goes direct again, which will be around and about the 18th and 19th of January. So think about your financial situation thoroughly and ask for some advice. If uh, you're having, for instance, your own business, you don't know what to do to improve that or to make it even better than it already is, um, you know, study it, uh, talk about it. And... Um, because there is a possibility with Pluto to transform your situation now to a long-term, positive, healthy financial situation. But there are some things that you need to change. There are some things that you, first of all, need to see and need to look at in a different way so that you can do the work and, um, yeah, and, and being very practical about all of this. If you are really struggling with money, this can mean a turnaround. So this can mean that when Mercury goes 
backwards that it, it, it feels even heavier on you. And I think for, you know, a lot of people around these days, you know, we want to buy prisons and whatnot. Uh, so it could be for some people a really hard time. But if you do it right, if you're standing still and reassessing and doing things differently, like in a very practical way. So cutting your, um, uh, how do you say that? Being very econo economical, being, being smart, but also being very real to yourself. What can you do instead of saying, oh, yeah, but hey, I'm not earning enough or this or that. How can you earn more? What can you do? So it's about what you can do. Even if it's a small thing. And even if it's a small thing, it can become a very big thing. Maybe you are hustling, you know, you're saying, oh, but I do as a hobby this, I'm going to put it on the website, I'm going to sell it. It can mean that after the 18th, 19th, this is going to be very, of January, this is going to be very successful. You see what I mean? There is absolutely, but there is hard work that needs to be done. That's always with the Mercury retrograde. People say, oh, I don't like the Mercury retrograde. I do like them. I am a Virgo, so I'm a bit biased, but uh, the Sun and Virgo, that is, but it means that you have an opportunity here to work hard, to work hard, to stand still, to reassess so that you have you have a chance here. Let's see it like that. Then uh, Christmas Eve on the 24th is the moon also in Capricorn. So, but that can be a lot of communication because the moon will uh, conjoin with Venus, with Mercury, a lot of conversations around your money, but also around your worth. So you can be having some triggers there because especially the moon will be with Pluto as well at a certain point of time. So be aware that you're going to be triggered, um, but that it is okay. It's an opportunity to heal. See it in that respect. So be comfortable with the uncomfortable feelings that some people can um, trigger, and which is mostly family, right? It's family and, and, you know, these are very karmic connections. And But it's about learning. What, what, do you, what needs to be healed here that has to do with money, that has to do with validation, that has to do with I own it. And the status of abundance, I could do a whole video about this. But anyway, on the 31st of December, the moon will be in Taurus, which is you're going to be very busy um, with the moon there in Taurus. For all of us, it's about good drinks and good foods. That's the moon in Taurus. I don't care what other astrologers are saying. Moon in Taurus means you can have a very good time with good food and good eat, eating and drinking. Anyways, but it's the little things, right? So focus on those little things. They can really give you a lot of enjoyment. Those little routine things that you need to do for... Maybe you're going to invite people to your house. You're going to be very, very busy, but you can have a really, really good time. Having said that, thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Bye-bye.